this is a stupidly short video quick overview how do you hold your guitar and this is not right or wrong this is about me trying to prevent you from getting bad habits which you will then try and unlearn later on essentially you're gonna have to be comfortable um, be straight back posture is a good start your posture needs to be healthy so straight back straight shoulders um, put your guitar on your leg I mean you might be left or right same thing applies some guitars are better than others when it comes to sitting down and playing and the idea is that you are over your guitar so you kind of just look down the strings you don't need to like you know see the fretboard fully you just want to be able to have a, a glance on it the most people guitar teachers would teach you to put your thumb behind the neck and then grip around so you basically do this right um yeah things it doesn't work for all the chords and that's when people then end up going oh shit I can't and then they start getting into a really bad kind of posture so the idea is that for your main stuff you will probably use that kind of style so put your thumb behind it wrap your arm around it or your hand and do your basic chords Um, we are going to do another um, episode where we talk about um, how to practice your chords because the whole way that you sit and hold your guitar is actually important in the sense that you also need to be able to fret um, your strings properly in the beginning from the start and actually practice that so you don't have muted strings that you want ringing and bringing strings that you want muted and you know half kind of strings that don't really ring properly because you've not fretted it nicely and the posture and the way that you hold the guitar all helps towards that so um, get a nice position make sure you feel healthy straight back um, when it comes to electric guitar I kind of actually suggest that people stand up most of the time when they're playing and not sitting um, and have the guitar at a decent height which is comfortable to you kind of right across your crotch if you like um, maybe a bit higher don't go jazz style don't go punk style um, they're both a little bit funny but make sure that you are in a good position it's very important that you don't end up with any kind of weird deformities after you know 30 years of playing guitar and you'll notice that the whole idea of where you put your thumb kind of has to change for example if I play E I want all the chords to ring so I can hold it like that but if I go to A I actually want to mute the top string with my finger the easiest one to do that with is my thumb same with D so you can see I already had to change where my thumb is I can't do those with this because if I'm strumming and I go to A I will hit the E so I've got to bring my thumb up and just watch pros playing you'll see that they don't have this perfect kind of posture so Again, I'm trying to find the middle ground for folk in the beginning. The guy, the guitar teacher says this is how you should hold it. Practically, it's not necessarily possible all the time. Um, what is more important is that you don't, that you can reach everything, you can reach everything well, that you still have a healthy, straight posture um, and you are not overextending your wrists too much in the beginning and maybe develop some sort of strain. Okay, um, that's it. Like I said, short and sweet. Thank you very much.